in the spring of 1600, a man who was believed to be the Thousand Devils of Halberstadt was arrested and brought to Groningen, which at the time was the residence of Duke Henry Julius of Brunswick. There, the suspect was imprisoned and interrogated, sometimes under torture. During the course of his interrogations, he stated his civil name was Simon Bingelhelm, and that he was born in Halberstadt. He confessed to numerous burglaries and theft offenses, primarily in Halberstadt, but also in several different locations that I have on screen now. He allegedly said that he was the arsonist behind the fire at Drubeck Abbey Monastery in 1599, and that he watched the fire from a neighboring mountain. He had a chalice from Raid Church and had even stolen 11 tailors from the poverty box at St. George's Church in Durenburg. He also broke into the Martinique Church with others and stole the poor box. In Helmstedt, he stabbed a man for two groschen, which at the time was about the price of a chicken, near Bernburg. He killed a young woman eight days before the Pentecost in 1599. In the forest between Hornburg and Osterwijk, he tried to rape an 18-year-old girl and later killed her. In the interrogations, the man confessed to a total of 71 crimes, including involvement in 26 murders. Among other things, he is said to have attacked a pregnant woman whom he had killed with his cronies. They supposedly slashed her body to remove her unborn child, from whose entrails he then made candles for his next burglary. He was involved in the robbery and killing of at least five infants. The saying goes that robbers and murderers cut open the bellies of pregnant women and make candles of the fingers of the unborn children. When these candles are lit, they allow no sleeper to wake up as long as they burn. The candles can only be extinguished by dipping them in sweet milk. Upon being caught, he was attacked with red-hot pincers, dragged to his execution, and quartered. 